The Canyon Police Department is now the proud owner of an armored vehicle. Thanks for being with us tonight. Andy Justice is on assignment. The public got a first look at the vehicle during Canyon's 4th of July parade. CPD's new emergency response armored personnel vehicle or ERAP V once protected troops overseas. Fox 14's Kaylee Green reports in its new life. It will perform similar functions to serve citizens and Canyon police. That story first on Fox tonight. If you find yourself asking, why would a canyon need an armored car? That's a question Canyon PD expects, and they have their reasons. It would be good for uh, high water rescues, uh, if we ever have a snowstorm again. Um, fire evacuations is big with the wildfires. It's, it can put a lot of people inside of it to get them out of harm's way. Corporal Eric Jusiak says with its height, armor on all sides, and bullet-resistant glass, it will keep officers safe in many circumstances. Um, and it can also be used in tactical situations as far as active shooters and stuff like that to help protect citizens and the officers. Corporals Jusiak and Matt Garza work to get the ERAP V through the government's 1033 program, which allows excess military equipment to be issued to local law enforcement. But armored vehicles don't come cheap. The vehicle, to purchase the vehicle is about uh, $495,000. With the program, like I said, we got it. It was sitting in a yard. It looked completely different. Uh, we had to do a lot of maintenance to it uh, to get it up and running. Corporal Jusiak says the ERAP fee's only cost to taxpayers is the refurbishment. That maintenance included a new paint job and basic tune-up with the help of West Texas Hot Rods and Diesel Repair of Canyon. So we didn't have to pay anything for it other than the transport and obviously the maintenance to, to refurbish it. Um, but when I talked to the chief, that was the hardest part was trying to find the funding for a vehicle, uh, something similar. Now, if you're still not convinced Canyon PD needs an armored car, well, just hold on. They say the ERAP B will also be made available to other law enforcement agencies as long as their needs fall within their guidelines. Live in the studio, Kaylee Green, Fox 14 News. Megan. Thank you. Corporal Jusiak says that Amarillo Police Department also participates in the 1033 program. APD has been working to obtain a new SWAT vehicle with help from the 100 Club.